can bet that most of you have a smartphone, a tablet, or any other portable device. And I know that because this smartphone has become an indispensable tool in my life. It offers me from basic functions, such as a simple alarm clock, to the most advanced ones, such as an augmented reality GPS. The fact is that these gadgets are really useful today. But one of the greatest problems of the massive use of these gadgets is that they tend to consume a significant amount of electrical energy. And as we know, our main power matrix is composed basically of non-renewable sources. Much of this power is derived from the burning of mineral coal, which is a, a predatory process responsible for approximately half the emissions of harmful gases. And besides, its extraction provokes irreparable damage to our planet. So it is unthinkable that we are still generating energy this way. On the other hand, many initiatives for the implementation of renewable energy are being performed. Wind energy, solar energy, but it is not enough. We need to continue implementing these technologies, but we also need to create other innovative solutions and that are available to all, all the time. And there is a quote that really inspired me a lot and express exactly what I'm going to tell you now. It is from a great friend of mine. Take a look. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the force. And the force is in us. Thank you. So I believe that the next solution will be the human energy. The human energy can be divided in two sections. The active energy, which is the energy we need to make an extra effort generated, such as a hand crank device. But I think that the most promising area here is the passive energy, which is the energy inherent to our body, such as our vital functions. Imagine how, how it would be in the future if we could use these technologies in an efficient way. We would be able to use the, our heart beating to recharge a self-sufficient pacemaker, reducing this way the necessity of invasive surgeries. Imagine also if we could use our brain activity to recharge some audible or visual devices replacing vital organs that may be affected by any disease or accident. And I believe this, these technologies will be available in a not very distant future. The fact is we can generate energy 24 hours a day, seven days per week. I don't know about you, but I feel I have a great debt to the planet. I feel I've already taken so much from it that I need to give it back. And as a product designer, I decided to create products that can minimize my carbon footprints. And in many of my projects, I use the passive energy. And based on this, I developed a project called Air E Concept, which is a mask capable of convert our breathing energy into electricity. This electricity is then transferred to your gadget through a USB cable. The name of the technology used to make this conversion is piezoelectricity, which in this case convert the vibration of the air displacement into electricity. Thus, you can use air E while you're sleeping, <laughs> reading a book. And if you want to charge it in a faster way, 
you can go out for a run. <laughs> In improving this way your healthy and life quality. But I, I think that more important than the product itself is the concept behind it. Because it shows that we can be part of the solution. And I can see this kind of technology being used in several areas of expertise, such as medical area, aerospace programs, rescue suits, among many other possibilities. And I'm here today because I believe that one idea is just good enough when it's shared, because ideas can complement each other, ideas can grow together, and while it happens, impossible becomes temporary. Thank you very much.